channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day as always. We're going to be working on a 2006 Lotus Exige. My 2006 Lotus Exige. Right there. So this is 100% stock. Literally 100% stock car. I've been getting a lot of these nice 100% stock cars. And then doing a nice clean aesthetic build on them. And I'm very excited for this. First, first number one modification I'm doing on this. We're going to install some GRP. Greg's race parts, tail lights, version four, the brand new one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I got the newest one. I'm super excited. So currently here's what the car looks like. I have a 2006. If you're familiar with the 2006, they do come with the LED little ring, not just a, the normal base one. And I believe that they never came out with a 2005 Exige. So, so the Exige always got these cooler, better tail lights from, from the, the lease but they're not as cool as the GRP one. So here's a stock look. Here's a factory look. I like to do everything a little bit of black and red. It's kind of my thing. That's what I go with. There's a lot of other colors on this car. You know, there's a little bit of chrome here, right in the middle of those. We got the Lotus uh, badge on the wheels, probably get rid of those. We got a little bit of some, uh, you know, hardware that's in chrome. I'll probably get, go black with that. And same thing with the markers again here. I'll probably go with some black. So. That being said, let's just start out with the first very easy aesthetic, kind of kind of pricey, but most of the parts on this car, you know, are a little bit more pricey. Still a good deal, but they're not as you know affordable as an MR2 or a Celica. So let's jump onto this real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to install this and like a little bit before and after. Let's just jump right into it. Super easy. The car's been sitting for a while. Okay, there we go. See that? So there we go. When we hit the unlock. And lock button that's what they currently look like the two outside ones go you guys can see that um, they're good they're really bright they're not horrible but they're not gonna be as cool as these GRP I'm gonna get in the car and then hit the brakes uh, and turn all the signals so that you guys can see kind of the before and the after cycles of all the lights with the brakes and everything so now all you gotta do is come over and have to open up that I don't know what you call it the deck lid there's just a little latch right here behind the driver door seat and you pull it and there you go grab on the wing it'll come up and it's cool on my Elise I didn't have a gas strut this one comes with a strut on it front factory and if you go really high It'll pop and then lock in place and it'll stay up by itself. I want to say I got a quick sponsor in this video. This is for, this is so cool. This is the JF uh, EGWO, I don't know how you say it, 4000A battery jump starter. The thing that's so cool about this is if you guys remember when I bought this car, um, I parked it in the parking lot and then it died overnight and then I had to bump start it and I wish I could have just jump started with one of these. Uh, now I can keep one of these in the back of here. This is pretty cool. Uh, here's the cool thing about this. It does actually start a car really well. So if your car's battery's dead, it'll, it'll start your car. It's cool, it has this giant screen on that. I thought that was so cool, look at that. And then it shows you how much uh, battery percent is left. And then when it connects to the car, it'll show you, you know, when it's ready to start the car and whatnot. Uh, another thing, the reason I like it also, it does have a light on here. So as you're changing things late at night, and let's say you get stuck on the side of the road, you can use that. And the kit, it comes with the charger which has a USB charger, you can charge your phone or whatnot, jumper cables, um, what else does it have on here? I think it has a flasher, so in case you, I don't know, I wanna flash on one. <laughs> um, pretty cool though, I like that. 
And then it does come with uh, a USB, so you can cigarette do a, you can charge like your if you need a like a cigarette charger or something. Maybe if you want to do like uh, to blow up an inflatable or something like that, you can plug this into it and then charge that. It's kind of cool. And then it comes with another USB plug cable to charge it and whatnot. Uh, one of the things I noticed is it charges really quick, which is nice. And then when you actually use it to actually start the car, I have another one of these, but when this one, when you get to use it, the, this one has a cool screen, but the, the other one, it would like drain like 55% of the battery when you're trying to start the car. I did this where I had a dead battery and used this one, and it only used, um, I think 12%, which is really good. So you could technically use it quite a few times to start your car. Anyways, I'll have the link for this if you guys need a, a jump starter, just in case for emergencies or whatnot. So I get a lot of opportunities to do that kind of stuff, a sponsor or whatever. Um, I usually only want to do stuff that is applicable to you guys. So I don't want to put like a video game inside of this or something like that or like toothpaste or something, I don't know. That is a good car part to have in your like arsenal. It's good and I really do like that one because it has the bigger screen. Again, I have another one of those that I've done in the past. I like that one because it's a bigger screen. But it is a good thing to have, especially if you have a bunch of cars like me and your cars die because you don't drive them enough. That's a great thing to have a little easy jump starter like that. Or if you have a friend or family member and it's cold out and their, their car battery dies, it's actually really cool to have that instead of having jumper cables. That's like a way more modern thing and it's a lot easier and it's lightweight. The jumper cables is like just old school. This is more efficient. All right, let's jump in here and remove these uh, tail lights and I'll show you guys the great GRP. Inside of the Exige rear clam, you guys can see in here, there's two eight millimeters up and up, and then that one has two millimeters eight up and up. All we're gonna do is remove those. Super simple. So let's go ahead and remove those two eight millimeters. Two eight millimeters, two washers, and then it'll, it, it, it's kinda in there. It didn't, they say like, oh, make sure it doesn't wanna fall out. This one did not wanna just come out. I will undo the clips real quick, and then I'll pull the headlight, or the tail light out. And done, super simple. Uh, I'm probably going to clean all this around here on the clam. Uh, we'll move on to the far driver's side and remove that one. Same thing. Super simple. Okay, just like that, what you're going to get is a nice box here. Thank you for your business. GRP, check hardware. Uh, old ones. All right. Voila. Here we go, baby. New ones. Oh, my gosh. Very me. These are so me. Why? Because they're black and red. I love the middle. The middle is just the best part. That really transforms the car. That all. I would almost just paint these ones, like with the uh, tape this off, and then do a um, a nightshade on it. But these ones already did it. These are really, really, really good looking. Um, I mean, I love them. I think they're awesome. So again, GRP version uh, four uh, outer light version four GRP. These are awesome, good, cool, cool quality, really nice. Uh, super simple, this is literally the same connector right here, do you guys see this? It's a good job, GRP, same, mm, one, one, of the, one of the wires is brown and one of the blue, but pretty much the same, the same thing. Here's the thing, um, they do do this extra little splice, and you're like, oh, what is this? This is to connect them so that they all run at the same time. This will send the signal so it's all one unit one time um, are they all the same and you can put them anywhere I believe I believe so um, I really do believe so I'm not sure I'm not to look I think they're all the exact same uh, meaning this one has a bulb in it for the reverse one and this does not have a bulb in for the reverse one so you might want to look um, to see if they are all the same or if they're not we're gonna actually look at the cables here to see I'm not sure if they are all the same but, um, cause one will be the outer and one will be the inner. So I'm assuming this one right here with the green, this will be the one that has the reverse light. Uh, cause this one doesn't have that cable. And then I'm assuming, um, this will probably have the green and this same thing will also be the one with the reverse light. So let's go test that out. An option for you. This currently has the reverse right here and no reverse. You could do that same thing or you could put the reverse on the outside, you know, whatever you want. Do you want the reverse on the outside? The MR2 is kind of that way too, actually. My MR2, the bulb is on the inside, but if you want, um, I think you can actually change the turn signal to switch them. So if you want to, you actually can. It just depends on where you want to put the bulb, um, which is kind of cool. I'm going to do them on the inside to kind of keep that OEM tight factory look, but if you want to try it on the outside, you totally can. The thing is, is, is that there is this thing on my bobber. Um, which I think is a ballast. I think that's probably what this is. Um, 
so we're not going to be actually using this anymore. So I'll, I'll sell these ones probably, or I'll keep them in case I ever want to go back to stock. I don't think you need to use this anymore. We're going to uh, set this aside, keep it for later. Just check the bottom of the box for some extra hardware and Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Thanks, GRP. You're awesome. All right, let's jump back over. Okay, we're now going to see the full difference between the two. So GRP version 4 and then the OEM ones over there. We're going to do a little cycle, we'll go through them and you guys will be able to see the difference. Uh, I actually turned the car's electricity on, so let's go ahead and look. between the two. I just absolutely think they look so much more masculine. That's They're just really manly. Really like aggressive. Very new Ferrari-ish. I love them. I think that he did a good job. Pretty, you know, it's a pretty strong price for them, but I definitely think they're worth it. Uh, will people want the stock version? Probably if they're like looking for a completely stock car. But if you're like me and you want a little bit of more, you know, masculine, more more uh, a plus version, then I think this is an absolute upgrade. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Let's go and, um, so they're all installed. You know, it's pretty simple, just eight millimeters. Nice that GRP did give you the little hardware. Use the GRP, use the OEM washers, super simple. Uh, they are perfect quality fit, looks good. Make sure you connect the two um, little pairing harnesses. And then I'm gonna go and see if it all works, if everything works good, and then I'll watch it back on the video. so cold it was nine degrees last night it, it's just freezing so i'm freezing in the garage um i did a really good job i think this is pretty thorough pretty simple uh overall it'd be maybe like a one star a one star install it's not going to be very difficult you can do this um you don't need to pay a shop to do this it's literally i think one tool which is an eight millimeter and everything's visible just by opening it up you don't have to remove any plastics or anything it's a lotus so they don't have any of those you know details uh, amazing outcome. Do I like it more? Yes, absolutely. I think it looks way more modern, way more expensive. Greg makes a very good product. Um, I actually have some tail lights. Let me grab them. That are mass manufactured for the FRS. We're going to be doing these soon. And, uh, you know, Lotus is a niche car. There's not very many of it. The FRS, they made a In one year, they probably made more. FRS's than they did all of these. Um, that being said, these are his product is just as quality as this mass manufactured uh, market. So if you want a good quality product that will last, obviously look at these. I love them. 10 out of 10, super easy install, 10 out of 10. Completely makes a car look more modern. I do need to put some um, LEDs for the license plates. That'll be next. But I think it just looks good. They look good on, they look good off. Super easy install. You're gonna wanna do these. Uh, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe. I'm gonna continue to mod this car. Uh, I, I absolutely love this. I'm super happy with this. We're gonna be doing some front LEDs. We're just gonna make this thing look amazing. This is my like show slash race car. Um, it does get a lot of attention. And I've already driven it quite a bit and I love it. I'm just gonna keep on driving it. It's just a great car. And then when you get these mods on here and you start looking at them, like when you park the car, it's already beautiful. But then you get the black tail lights like these. Oh my gosh. Uh, you're gonna go to my Instagram, you're gonna see so many photos of this car. 10 out of 10. 
Like, subscribe. Uh, the link for GRP will be below. The link for that battery or the yeah the battery charger will be below. Uh, and then of course swing by mystery.com. Thank you, Greg. Great parts. I will be buying more stuff from Greg's Racing Parts as I have in the past for my Elises. I have two leases now. I have an Exige and my Evora. Uh, I just what a great company. Thanks, Greg. Love it. Like, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.